it's Reverend Nigel, and we're filming this in one of my two churches, Holy Trinity Church in Cleve. We're filming an assembly for all you lovely lot down at Court to Wick School, and that's the start of any assembly. Uh, we always light three candles, and I'm going to do that now and ask you to join in uh, with the uh, responses to the lighting of these, these candles, these three candles. God said, let there be light. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. The Holy Spirit is the light within. Not long now before everyone is back in school and all the classes will be full again. I wonder if you have found lockdown hard, uh, quite a challenging, difficult time for you. I wonder if you've been anxious at all or worried because of lockdown and because of all the changes that uh, living through this health crisis because of COVID um, and the lockdown, all those changes and challenges. I wonder if that's made you anxious or worried at all. I know that this uh, terms theme is courage. It's a great theme, great thing to think about, uh, about being brave, um, about having courage, about being courageous. Courage, bravery, is the opposite of fear. Uh, feeling fearful, feeling, feeling frightened. So courage is the opposite of that. Fear stops us doing something because we hold back and we're nervous. Courage, bravery, uh, gives us the strength to do something even when we do feel uh, uh, a bit frightened to do it. Finding the courage helps us do it. Um, I'm, a bit, uh, I'm a bit scared of needles. I don't like going to the doctors and having an injection. Um, so. When I do have to go and have an injection, I know that I do sometimes to stop me getting ill, um, I have to be brave going into the doctors and rolling up my sleeve and having that injection. I tend to look away and, and sing a song to myself in my head so that I can feel brave about it. You might be fearful or scared of something. I don't know. My wife's scared of spiders. If there's a spider in the house, I have to go and pick it up and put it outside. But you might be scared of, of something in your life too. Perhaps it's being around a lot of people all at the same time, something new. Or perhaps um, learning to swim for the first time. Um, perhaps we can think about that for a moment. And as you're doing that, think also if there's anybody you know who is a brave person, somebody that is strong, who's brave, courageous, and perhaps ask yourself, Maybe um, I could be like that person. If only I could be uh, courageous, brave, like them. I want to tell you a short story about a very courageous, brave young girl, a young lady, young woman. And her name was Grace Darling. Grace Darling lived uh, 160 years ago up on the north coast of England. She was the daughter of a lighthouse keeper. You know the lighthouse? Uh, that is on all around our coasts, sometimes on islands, and they send out a signal, a light signal to ships if there's bad weather or if they're steering too close to the rocks. And Grace lived in a lighthouse off the coast on an island uh, with her mother, father, and brothers and sisters. They had a very happy life, but it was very remote. It was a long way out so that the lighthouse could be used to save any ships that got into, tr into trouble. One night, there was a really terrible storm, very, very strong winds and uh, a lot of rain. And uh, a passenger ship that was sailing to Scotland uh, got caught in the storm. And even though they saw the light from the lighthouse, they couldn't manage to stay off the rocks. And the boat, the ship, hit the rocks. and began to sink. Sadly, some people did die. They, they drowned that night. Very sad. Some people managed to get up onto the rocks themselves. And Grace, 
who um, could see from the lighthouse, from the top of the lighthouse, where she'd gone to check the light, that there was a ship in trouble. She ran downstairs and called to her father, and they got the rowing boat out, and they rowed from the island out to the rocks where the people were stranded now, in the dark, in the rain, in the wind, in the storm. And Grace's father got out of the boat and helped the people on the rocks, and Grace rowed the boat. She rowed it back and forth and back and forth until they got the people off the rocks. Nine people were saved. Grace, age 22, very young, very brave, had helped to save the lives of nine people. And as a result, we remember all these years later on, and she got a medal. She got a medal from the Queen, Queen Victoria, for her bravery, for showing courage. And she said, all I could think about was, um, as I looked at those people, of how I could save them, and I just found the strength to do what I did. So she got her medal. Very brave. I've got a medal. I've got a medal here that came from the last war, from the Second World War. It's called a Defence Medal. It comes in that box. It was presented uh, to my wife's mother. Her name was Lavinia. And she worked in the Air Force. She didn't go abroad to work. She stayed at home and uh, helped the brave pilots of the planes. Uh, she looked after them and she, she looked after um, where they were staying. And uh, anybody that was involved in that work, even though they didn't go and fight in the war, they helped and they were brave in that way. And she got her defense medal. Maybe your grandparents have got one too. And I've got a medal for myself today because I told you I was scared of injections. Well, I went and got my flu jab uh, before Christmas. I went down and, and got my flu jab. So I've got a B on my medal for bravery. And uh, I hope that when I go and get my, my vaccine for COVID, that I'll be brave and uh, I'll be able to get that injection uh, all right, and then I'll be okay. So a lot of people are getting those injections, those vaccinations at the moment. Jesus' followers, well, they were sometimes frightened. They were sometimes nervous, sometimes scared. And on one occasion, they were in a boat crossing a great lake, and there was a very fearful, very frightening storm that blew up on the lake. And in the boat, being tossed about on the waves, they thought they were going to sink. And they called Jesus, who was in the boat with them, and said, save us. And he stood up and he said some words, he said a prayer, and the storm just quietened down. He told his followers then not to be afraid that he would always be with them, to have courage. And when they remembered that years later, they did. They managed to find that courage, that bravery, that strength. And God says something the same to us. I will always be with you, says God. And there will always be things to make us a bit afraid, even as adults. But God has promised to always be with us. And God is always bigger than all of the things that might make us that little bit frightened or scared. Remember that, and that might help us to find courage. I'm going to finish with a short prayer. If you like the prayer, you can say an amen, nice and loud, at the end. Let us pray. Dear God, help me when I am afraid to remember that you are with me and help me to find my courage. Amen. And I'll see you all again, hopefully, soon.